Wednesday's game against Agawam, the boys in green and yellow have been roaring with thunder, averaging about nine runs a game. The Conic looking to keep that up with Thomas Plakius on the mound for Agawam. Top of the first, Christian Salzarulo at the plate with a runner on first deep to left. That drops at the wall. The runner chugs on home, and Salzarulo has a stand-up triple to put the Thunder up 1-0. Next batter, it is Quentin Christopher. He's going to ground one down the third baseline. That is a fair ball, drives in Salzarulo and securing a double back-to-back -back extra base hits for the Thunder later in the inning. Check out Agawam's Eddie Ferris. He is going to field a ground ball that's right to him at third base. Great defense there by Vincent, uh, Vincent Catalotti. That was uh, Ferris on the hit. He gets the force out at first while holding the runner. Nice play there. And some well-deserved high fives from his teammates. Now we have Damon Paws on the mound for Agawam. He gets a nice ground ball out. And then later on, it's Catalotti. He gets the ball in play by hitting it to the left fielder, and that will be good enough for a base hit. However, the inning would end with him stranded on the base pass. And for the second straight game, Taconic scores double digits. This time coming on top 10 to 5, the Thunder improving to 4 and 1 on the year. We're going to go back to the softball diamond. 2 and 1 East Hampton Eagles flying south to take on the 2 and 2 Long Meadow Lancers. Bottom of the fourth, East Hampton up. 1-0, Lancers Delaney Schrager leading off, boom, cranked into the outfield, Schrager rounds first, has to be thinking three, rounds second, and is moving, gets the third for the stand-up triple. Next up, it's Marielle Mojica. She pops up, in comes an infielder, but, oh no, the catch is not made. Schrager scores from third, and we now have a tie game. That brings up Isabella Blue with one on, Blue. Smokes it to left field. Mojica scores from second. Blue switches places with her teammate. Long Meadow has their first lead of the day, two to one. Still in the fourth. One on and two out for Gabby Palma. That is going to be smacked into left field. You'll see the hit in just a second as she steps up to plate. There you go, she smacks one in the left field. Olivia Kelly scores from third to give the Lancers a 3-1 advantage. Fast forward to the top of the seventh. It's a 4-1 Long Meadow lead. The ball is going to get by the catcher. That allows a run, and the lead is cut to two. Few batters later. Tying run at the plate. Olivia Kelly. She has her eyes on the catcher's glove. The wind, the pitch, and the ball is hit to Lexi Winkler at short. She throws the first ball game. Lancers win 4-2 and approve their record 2-3-2. Two, Hot play of the night. Sponsored by Wilbraham and Mike.